Alright, so when we left off last night, we had just gotten to the Great Tree and basically um, battled those two Exnauts who... Um, we found out where all the punies were being <sighs> held hostage. Or, or found out, I should say, that they were all being held hostage. So now we need, basically need to go find them. And this guy's not gonna, like, uh, help you unless you, like, prove yourself that you're there to help. So... So now we have to go do that. Oops. Nice. Power Punch boosts your partner's attack power by adding buffness. My probably actually should have just jumped on the uh, one X knot. That way I could have gotten Goombella out. But that's fine. Um, I can get Goombella out right here to scan these. That's a yuck. Says here it's a creature created in the X knot labs. Three, two, zero. According to this, attacks and items won't affect it if it has mini yucks around it. So if it has any, if so, if any mini yucks appear, take those out first. And mini yucks will basically spawn every single time uh, it uh, attacks. <clears throat> That's a mini yuck. A creature made to protect a yuck. They can split into two. One zero zero. These torps are the reason you sometimes can't do any damage to the main yucks. They're a pain, but you have to beat them before the yucks. Flurry's pretty effective. So are my jumps, Goombella. Nice. We get eight star points for it, so not bad at all. We'll leave Gumbella out for right now because, um, oops, because uh, <coughs> there's a Piter up here as well that I want to scan. Scan. Use uh, my tattle on. Well, that's just the yucks. That's uh. Not needed to. S <sighs> yeah, again, we're gonna try to avoid anything that we don't necessarily need to fight. <clears throat> Man, this is brutal. How much longer till we find that stupid crystal star? Not even those puny punies we captured know anything about it, and they live here. After all this pointless searching, I'm thinking we're looking in the wrong place. Um, ouch? Question mark? <laughs> Elder! Punio, is that you? You're looking well. Why are you so calm, Elder? You're trapped, and this is our daring rescue of you. Oh, a rescue, and is it? Well, thanks, I suppose. Those are quite exciting. But I think you ought to help with the other punies before you rescue me. Where are the others? <laughs> Let me think. Where was I? Your question. Big brother, is that my Punio? Petuni, thank heavens. You're here, you're safe. I knew you'd come for me, Punio, I just knew it. Of course I would, dear sister, and I've brought us a mighty ally. Look at him. We're going to get you out of there right away, I swear. You just hold tight a second. Okay. Mario, listen. We've got to find the cell key, or we're going nowhere. Oh, well, isn't this a treat? We must stop meeting like this, don't you think? Hey, stop right there, Missy. You're that thieving girl we saw before. What are you doing here? 
Well, anyway, I heard there were nice badges to be found here, so I came looking. Only problem is, I've been running into more trouble than I expected. Mm-mm-hmm, but who cares about that? Lovely to see you again. Ew, not another smooch. Who do you think you are, you total floozy? <laughs> the precious crystal star you're looking for is near the bottom of this tree. Good luck finding it for the others. Mm-hmm-hmm. Take care, my handsome stash superstar. Let's get together again soon. I can't believe that girl. Ugh, I can't stand her. So the girls in Mario's party obviously don't like uh, this little thief. And I think that that's pretty funny. Er, my aching... Hey, you. You're the dirtbag who hit me from behind, aren't you? Yeah, real fair, you scum. You fight dirty, you get dirty. And I'll be doing the dirty in. Can't flee this fight. I can't flee this fight, and I find I find that really funny because I can just finish it off really quickly like this. It's like okay, I can't flee it, but that's fine. <clears throat> we got a red key. Key that opens the red cell door. Nice, and we got an ultra shroom. Those Ultra Shrooms are going to be really helpful for, um... We can give those to Zesty, uh, back in Roadport. Elder, we're back. We're here to rescue you. Foolish child! <laughs> Hunio, sit down this instant and keep your mouth shut. Huh? What? Why? What did I do? Uh, listen, Elder, I don't know why you're mad, but we came here to help you. Stop your mumbling, you, and mind your elders, you whelp! <laughs> How could you abandon your poor sister and run off like that? Absolutely shameful. But, but, Elder, I just went to find help, to help rescue you. Oh, stop with the whining. You never interrupt an Elder mid-lecture, never. <laughs> you wonder why the other peenies call you a doofus sometimes? That's why. Excuse me, and your time to be a doofus is over, because you have to lead our puny tribe one day. That day is not far off, and that is why you need to listen. Now, first of all... <laughs> several hours later. <laughs> or else! You got that? From now on, you've got to get your act together, Punio. <laughs> the, the dots? Yes, Elder, yes, I understand. Bah, only answer once. But say, by the way, why are you here anyway? Uh, I was just telling you, we came to rescue everyone, we started with you. Oh, is that so? Well, good. In that case, get me out of here already. Criminy, the cell is cold, which isn't good for the old bat, and there's this damp stench. <laughs> uh, well, there she goes. Enough standing around. Just you wait, Petuni. I'll be right back for you. Okay, bit brother, I'll be waiting. Ah! I completely zoned out right there. Do I have any... Wow, that's annoying. Um... literally just gonna try to... I just wasn't paying attention. <laughs> no need to lose coins over me just not paying attention. Well, if it isn't Punio. Hmm, you heard me. Hmm, I can't say I expect you to manage to rescue the Elder. I told you I could do it. Don't get a swelled head. This doesn't mean I'll accept you as our leader. And it definitely doesn't mean I completely trust that mustache guy, either. For starters, you still haven't rescued the other punies yet. I'm not lifting an antenna to help until you do. You stubborn mule. <laughs> I love it when the Elder gets pissed off. She, like, grows in size just to make a point. Deplorable. How dare you talk like that, knowing what we're up against. We must stand together now. We must take back our tree. Don't you understand that? But, Elder... Shut your trap, Puniper, and mind me, you hear? You'll help Mustachio here. What'd you say your name was again? It was a, uh, it was Marty, wasn't it? It's Mario. He's Mario. I mean, sheesh. It's only, he's only world famous. Come on. Yes, yes, simmer down, you and everyone else. Help Mario here clear out our tree. 
Oh, all right, whatever you say. I'm not heartless or anything. To tell you the truth, I'm worried about Petunie, too. And you're right, we have no choice. We must fight. It's so funny. He's like, I don't want to fight. Oh, but she's, not, she's letting me, or forcing me, so I guess I will. Thanks, you guys. Hey, if you're done rallying, everyone, I have a question. We're looking for this crystal star thingamajig. Ever heard of it? The crystal star. Hmm. Yes, perhaps. Hidden down, down, down. Well, that's three downs. At the bottom of this tree is a funny colored stone. But what do we do with it? Oh, right. We guard it from evil and give it to a pure heart. That's what generations of elders have been taught. Might be the crystal star. <laughs> Marty, or Martio. I'm thinking you'd better get it before those goons do. I don't quite see how just yet, but I bet it's connected to us getting our tree back. You got all that? Crystal star, bottom part of the tree. Go to it. Oh, hold your horses. I forgot something. Before you can get the crystal star, you must save all of the captured punies. Yep, you'll never get to that gem without the help of the punies. Not a chance. So here, you'd better take this. It's the puny orb. It's the symbol of our leader. If you place this in the pedestals you see around the tree, the punies will gather. Just remember to take the orb with you when you're done using it. Because, well, if you don't, everyone will just kind of hang out and stare at the orb. <laughs> Alright, guys, let's go rescue everybody. So this is kind of a... <laughs> and one more thing. <laughs> so sorry, so sorry, I've been awfully forgetful as of late. Now then, where was I? Oh right, on your way to the Crystal Star, if you lose any of the punies and have a hard time finding them, just come see me. What I'll do is I'll give a whistle to call them back here. You're all, you got all that? Alright, can't really afford to hit this... Ooh, I almost did it. Can't really afford to hit it again, so hopefully we'll make this one count. But, uh, the, the, I really, I'm not a big fan of Chapter 2, uh, and this is why, like, you you lose these punies super easily, but they're essential for, like, getting down to the lower levels of the tree, so. A new pipe. And I tried to turn around and hit him with the hammer. Um. I only have Goombella out because I want to scan the Piter. Like, I really want to get Koops in. At least my jumps are, on, are more on point today. <clears throat> See, now I have zero punies following me. It's really easy to get lost in, uh... Not get lost, but, um... Uh, have the punies get lost on you. <clears throat> Luckily, though, this is easily solved with Flurry. Man. There we go. This took me ages to figure out when I was a kid. Like, I didn't, could not figure out how to do that. And then obviously this one's for the exact same thing on the other side. <sighs> I think the Piter's right here, so. And yes, I am saying Piter, not Spider. I think I've... Wait, have I already scanned it, actually? No. Okay, that's what I thought. Or tattled it, I'm sorry. I'm thinking Metroid. <laughs> that's a Piter. Ick! They gross me out. 5-2-0. Ew. <sighs> Besides its normal attacks, it might spit three web wads at you consecutively. <laughs> yeah, we're throwing it back a lot. 
Uh, it might spit three web wads at you consecutively. You'd better have good timing if you want to guard against its attacks. It also says here that the punies can't stand piters, so I'm not the only one. Just the sight of these things makes punies flee in terror. I know how they feel. Alright. We're gonna power smash this. Just because it'll do that 4 HP. Yeah, that's what I thought. We'll, we'll head bonk this one with Goombella. And then we'll power bounce on this one. Nice! <laughs> Did that to a widow the other day? Nice. A as you should. I lost punies. Where are they? See, this is the annoying part of this chapter. It's like, where are my, where are my punies? Gumbella scanned everything that I want her to scan, so I can actually get coops back in now. Okay, come on. <clears throat> Oh, here they are. Wow, I cannot believe I actually dodged all that. <clears throat> Mario, did you see it? That was a jabby. Based on what Puniper said, they're helping the intruders in trying to seize the tree. Our tribes have been enemies for a long time now. Every time we meet, we fight. A lot. But I used to get along with Jabal. He's of the Jabby tribe. I wonder if even Jabal is my enemy now. So this first uh, bit is going to be the... F there's Okay, so there's two puny fights in these great tree. There's a uh, 10 ja ja uh, Jabby fight, but you have... 11 punies, so technically you win this one, and then there's a 100 jabby fight on the opposite side of this room, where if I try to go into it, I get, like, squashed immediately, because obviously it's, a, it's, like, literally 10 to 1. Unfortunately, I can't really help this fight. Uh, it's just kind of, hopefully, the, the, the punies do their job. <laughs> Come on. Oh my goodness. There we go. Wow, we did it. We defeated every last Jabby here. Now we have to destroy the Jabby Hive Fortress. <clears throat> and they're just kind of laying your... Uh, I guess lame. <laughs> I love how I jumped down, but the punies are like, yeah, let's go over here. <laughs> blue key. Key that opens the blue, cellar, the blue cell door. With this key, we should be able to open the cell my people are locked in. Hurry, we have to free my sister and the others. And they'll never come back, and that's that, and what's going to happen to us, and... Hey, by the way, what's that thing you've been holding on to so tightly? <laughs> it's a mushroom. <laughs> oh, not to be, you know, rude, but it looks all dry and wrinkly and gross. Yeah, yeah, I know. I picked it so I could give it to my brother to eat. But then I got captured and stuck in here, and after a few days, it dried out. Oh, really? Great story. <laughs> the sass in this game is so fun. Anyway, don't worry so much. All my complaining aside, I'm sure Punio will return. Mmm, shrooms. <clears throat> it's like Homer Simpson voice. Mm. <laughs> uh, we're going to go over here really quickly because there is a badge that I want to try and get. Cut damage by 1 HP with a guard action command. 
Then, if you'll notice, there's like the thing right here, so... This also took me um, a super long time to find uh, when I was a kid, this store. <laughs> Shop is hard to spot, so I've been in here hiding from those goons this whole time. But those fiends have been searching high and low for something inside this tree. What could they be looking for? Do you have any idea? Nope. Hey, it's Jabble. Why are you hiding back here? Whoa, a Jabby. Not good. That little feller is going to get mixed up in my stock. But I suppose I can't go disciplining him. He's still just a kid, after all. Oh, what a precious little thing. He hasn't done anything wrong. Mario, we simply must go easy on the poor deer. <laughs> no, let's get him. <laughs> we'll even be. What ails you, my little pudding pie? He seems so lonely, doesn't he? Why, he looks like I do when I step into the spotlight and then forget my very first line. Hold up now. You know what? I believe he might wish to join us. The unjabby silently nodded his head. It appears you have a new ally. I had heard the rumors, from Madame Fleury to them jabbies. Yeah, the word is out. Mario can win over the hearts of everyone, anyone and everyone. I tell you, as a people person and a salesman, I must say I'm more than a little jealous. So it's just a little fun thing, because you have Punio right here, and that's his little childhood friend. Not at all necessary, but just fun to do. Got a star piece. Got some of my punies back. I have no idea where they are, so I'm just going to leave them and I'll go to the Elder and call them. <clears throat> oh! Okay. Haha! <laughs> harder than it looks. There's a lot of, like, maneuvering. Oops. Flurry's body is in my way! Nintendo! First things first. <laughs> I love you! <laughs> well, I'm shocked. Who makes fun of an old woman like that, honestly? <laughs> Why, if I were just ten years younger, I'd show you. Oh, you best believe it. I'll have you know that in my younger days, I was considered a puny prize. I had so many suitors, I had to fight them off. Hey, hee hee hee. Now that I think about it, there was a particularly fine boy named Punderton. <laughs> And <laughs> she just goes on a rant two hours later. <laughs> that's funny. And that's how I became the puny elder, the leader of the puny tribe. Now you know my tale and I know yours, so good luck to you. <laughs> He's just okay. I lost some punies. I understand the situation, just wait a moment. Punies. Alright, Mr. Mardio, off you go. Yeah, genu genuinely could not find them and didn't really want to go looking for them, to be honest, so. <clears throat> it's funny, just getting that uh, jabby has no impact on the, my total party numbers. Oh, what the heck? I could have just... No, I went the wrong way. I went, yeah, I went down instead of going to the right. Yeah, I should have gone. I should have gone right here. <laughs> I dislike the great tree. Tuni, I'm back. We brought the key. We're opening the cell right now.
Big Brother. Little Petunie, are you alright? You're not hurt, are you? Nope, I'm fine. Thank heavens. Hey, Big Brother, I have something for you. I meant to give this to you sooner, but... <laughs> Mushrooms are your favorite, aren't they, Big Brother? But, well, this one kind of got dried out. <laughs> oh, nasty! <laughs> it was icky, wasn't it? I'm sorry. No, not, not at all. Mmm, delicious, very... <laughs> Dad, very yummy. You okay? Give me a hug, Petuni. Hey, quit it. Come on, don't get all mushy. Everyone's staring. Well, it was just a really sweet gesture, that's all. Oh, it was nothing. 90 punies have joined your party. Now there are 101. Now this is where this chapter gets really aggravating, because now on top of having... 10 to care for, you have 100 to care for now. Ugh! Oh, no! There's a trick that if you, uh... Um... If you jump at the right angle, you're able to, uh... I used to be fairly decent at it. Um, you're able to not lose the amount of punies that you have, even when you jump down. So we'll just fight this thing so the punies can get across. Oh, I thought they would hit the ground. Oops. Damn it. I use my special right here so I don't have to waste uh, flower points on using or trying to uh, get rid of the mini yucks. It's not going to hurt the yucks, but. I should have jumped in the grand scheme of things like first, but... So I could take it out with the, the jumps, but... It's like before my, uh, before I used my star power, but... But we level up, actually, so that's good. Okay. Batch points. We really need some new batch points. Alright. Damage dodge. Mega rush. Mega rush P. Because the Mega Rush P will really be helpful if my um, partner hits 1 HP as well. Because that's increasing attack power by a boatload. Do, 
drop the damage your ally takes by half when in danger. I guess I'll just equip Last Stand P for right now, just so that I can utilize the all the badge points, but not something that I'm gonna keep on. <laughs> These punies, dude, I swear. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Some of them escaped. What? Some of them still got... Wow, no, not some. Literally just one. This chapter's annoying, and this is why. Now that we have the 100 jabbies, though, we can go do that 100 jabby fight. <clears throat> so we'll do that right now. Man. I tried. Nom nom flowers, yeah. Koops hit all these. Oh, he can, yes. the shroom fry too, I forgot. Okay, here's all 101. Yes! Yes, I got all 100! Oh, thank goodness. Alright. Yeah, so if I had gone in here with the 10 jabbies, there I wouldn't have stand I wouldn't have stood a chance. <laughs> I would have been annihilated. Everyone, it's the jabbies. It's a 100 jabby squadron. Uh charge. Come on, Mario. And again, I don't really have any uh, influence over this fight. It's just jabby v jabby v puny. Like, I could send Flurry out... Oh, wow, that was quick. I could send Flurry out to, like, blow the jabbies in a certain direction so that the punies get to them quicker, but that's really the only thing that I could do. Otherwise, it's pretty... Like, I, I can't really do anything. <sighs> but that was actually a really quick jabby fight. They're not normally that quick. Oh, I, I thought the piranha plant struck first. Ha 
Ugh, darn it. <sighs> I'm trying uh, to super guard, but I keep uh, missing the timing on them because it's, it's again, it's it's a nearly a frame perfect uh, input. I'll use the shrimp fry. Ah! Yakers. Uh, so yeah, we'll see Flurry's Gale Force ability. We'll hope that this works. Kidding me, man. That's frustrating. Um. I'm gonna use Sweet Treat, possibly get some health back. Preferably, I want um, flower points back. I'm gonna use uh, Gale Force again, or I'm gonna try to use Gale Force again. No flower points. Ooh, that was close. All right, six FP. That's awesome. All right, do your job this time, Flurry. <laughs> That's what it was supposed to do the first time. <laughs> you placed the puny orb. Uh oh. I fell for it. I got trapped again. Uh, what? What just happened? Ba 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 ha ha. Man, you guys are dense. Brilliant little trap, huh? And boy, did you bite on it. I saw you sticking that silly stone on the pedestal, so I made a fake one. Awesome. <laughs> I mean, I knew it was great, but seeing you fall for it really gives me a warm fuzzy. <laughs> ba 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 ha ha. Talk about complete idiots. You guys are so dumb it hurts. Anyway, with you fools out of the picture, I can take my time hunting the crystal star. Bah ha 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 ha. These guys are such nerds, it's hilarious. <clears throat> Mario, what do we do? Uh, we have to find a way out of here. But what can we do? Well, we can remove the orb. If you're me, you can just kind of, like, get out. <laughs> Boy, this just isn't right. Let's do something before my claustrophobia sets in. Mario, think of something. I'm counting on you. Wait, you see those? I'm pretty sure I've seen columns like those before. We have actually seen columns like those before. Huh? Whoa, the, the tree just shook. What was it, an earthquake? Don't worry, Toops. It was not an earthquake. Um, we have actually, I'm going back down on purpose, we have actually seen, um, these pillars before, and we're gonna go back to where they are right now. Because also, if, in case you haven't noticed, there are, have, there have been a couple of, like, um, things on the ground that I've just kind of been ignoring because I haven't been able to do anything with them. Oh, didn't even mean to find that. Like, like this, this little X thing. Um... So we're gonna go. Obviously, we're, there's a, an item that we can grab that makes us be able to uh, go through there. So we're gonna go grab that item right now. <clears throat> C 
Koops falls down and just teleports back to me. <sighs> right here. And then there's one right here, too. So basically, we have to align the... Um, these pillars with uh, what the other one said. And uh, if you didn't remember what it said, then you'd have to go all the way back to like, oh no, but I remember what it's, remember uh, what it is, so. Sun, moon, puny, oh my gosh, sun, moon, puny, star. Big chest? Surely it's not another curse. No, I got A super boots. <laughs> hey there, I'm Toadette. Congratulations on getting the super boots. These cool kicks power up jump attacks, and you'll be able to use a new technique, so let's practice it, okay? If you press A at the right moment when jumping, you'll do a spin jump. Timing is everything. The thumbs up, like, hell yeah, I got it. <laughs> wow, that was perfect. You're a natural. Wanna try again? Nope, I got it. Okay, that's just super. It looks like you've mastered the spin jump. You can smash through spots like this with your spin jump. That's it. You got it. You can use the spin jump in battle, too. Give it a try. Well, I hope to see you again soon. Good luck on your adventure. <laughs> Don't call me Shirley. Yeah, that's me. I am Mr. Shirley. Did I even say Shirley? <laughs> I don't even know if I did. No! My charge badge! Hey, welcome. Add charge to your tactics menu. So, um, charge is a really good ability. We'll take off the last stand P and we'll equip charge. Charge basically, um, okay, awesome. Charge is just that. It allows me to charge up and I, my attacks do extra, uh, extra damage. Uh, yeah, I am still in the puny tree. We're about halfway through it, though. So now that we do have the um, super boots, we can uh, go back to where the punies are trapped and get them out. This game is coming back to me, like, supernaturally. It's been so long since I played it, but it's just like everything's just coming back. Uh, I thought I did. Did the did the uh, bot not? No, the bot did. Oh, you're making the oh, okay. You're making the joke. <clears throat> um, we can go down here. It's easier if you uh, go down here uh, quicker before. Um, you have just because obviously you're going to be going down here with the punies. It's easier to go down here um, without the punies first. That way you can um, you basically have the ability to. What am I saying? Uh, freely traverse this general area without um, have worrying about the punies like falling down, falling and losing them, kind of a thing. So we do have the spin jump now. Let's try it on this yucks. So that's that. <laughs> I'm the bot. I'm the captain now. There we go.
So having that extra um, plus one damage with the boots is uh, going to be really, really beneficial in the long run to um, uh, like just doing damage in general. Oh my god! Oh, I don't have enough for... Please, Fright Mask, work? Ah, oh, darn it! That's fine, we'll just run. Got my coins, okay. Fuck me. <laughs> Did you actually post it uh, in the Discord again? <laughs> I don't have it uh, open, so. Uh, thank you, RNG. We'll appeal so we can get our star points back. Actually, what we should have done is probably, um... Switch out our partner. Oh my god, I didn't mean to do that! See, there's charge, but I meant to swap. And a nice meme for Me6. You're such a bully to the Me6 bot. What did the Me6 bot ever do to you? I tried to... I missed it. Didn't see it in time. There we go. It tried to take your job. Technically speaking, it failed to do its job, and then you took its job. <laughs> Like, if we're going to be technical here. <laughs> so we can come back down here. Obviously, we can't go in that water because the uh, shark will come up and attack us. So, I think we go down. No, we're sp I'm supposed to go back up, not down. <clears throat> yeah, because going back up, I can um, hit this little block. Oops! <laughs> oh my gosh. But yeah, hitting, letting uh, Coops hit that um, just floods the water, makes it um, so that it's uh, easier to get down. You got Shrink Stomp. Execute superbly to shrink foes and drop attack power. Uh, the punies are gone. They've been eaten. <laughs> You'll never see them again.
Alright, so now that we do have the super boots, we can put the... Well, I need Flurry out. <laughs> flurry. I can put the puny orb here, and I can do that. We did it, yes! Now we can get out of here. <laughs> the... What is that emote? <laughs> Come on, punies. Dude, go in. Eh. Drop down! This, this... Drop down, please. Okay. Good lord. So now we have uh, our 100 punies back. Oh, another star piece. I, acci I, I accidentally found another star piece. <clears throat> what am I doing losing punies for? Come on. This is so annoying. I very much dislike them. <sighs> Put Flurry away prematurely. Okay. Okay, well at least it didn't take that long this time. Yeah, and there there shouldn't be anything down here. Yeah, uh, there shouldn't be anything down here because I cleared it out, so the pu the the punies won't get super scared and try to run away from me. Since I cleared the water, they can cross. Darn it! I dislike the punies. I really do. room now, where you conveniently need 101 punies in order to make it out of here. Or to lower the, the floor, I guess. Oh no, what's happening? So that's how you get to this room. <laughs> We'll go ahead and save. Um, I have 5 HP. Then it'll be fine. Oops, kinda need my punies. Let me see. That thing's gotta be around here somewhere. But, huh? What's that? Whoa, sounds like a mob. Better clear out. Again, where you conveniently need 101 punies. <laughs> and there's the crystal star. Uh, no, I will not be doing that. I will be doing anything but that. <laughs> Mario, look. Look, look, look. It's the crystal star. Yoink. What? Did he just... Hey, what's going on here? Ha 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 ha. Man, am I lucky or what? Or am I just good? Oh, you say you need a crystal star, Lord Crump? Boom! Falls right in my lap. Still, this is humiliating. You shouldn't have been able to escape that cell. 
So for insulting my awesome trap, I'm gonna repay you with a little present. Know what it is? Oh, just a little something I like to call a remote time bomb detonator. <laughs> I'm going to use this to bury you in those squirmy punies and rubble. Sound fun? Well, enjoy your final minutes inside this dank old tree. And with that, POW! I'm gone. So now we're playing uh, Super Metroid Paper Mario Edition. <laughs> did, did he just say, ah, hurry, we have to get the heck out of here? Eh, I'll leave the punies here, it's okay. there's an item in one of these. No, it doesn't sound fun. <laughs> Can't flee this fight. Alright, so what I'm going to do is... I think I have... I do not. <laughs> yeah, do, 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 do. <laughs> uh, I'm going to... Mm, no, it's fine. I'll just normal jump them. Poops is full health. Oh, shoot! I let it go too early. Tad power is now boosted. It's fine, though. For the time being, we are going to be um, jumping instead of hammering people, since we do are doing more damage with uh, our jumps right now. I knew there was something in this room. <clears throat> Alright. Oh my god, they're back. Oh, all right. Because if I get into an encounter right there, the um, the timer keeps going during the encounter. I mean, I'm, I'm not in really any danger of, like, not being able to make it out of the tree, but... Ugh, oh, I thought I got them all. Two? Really? Come on, hit it. Alright. You won't be going any farther this away. What? Are you nuts? Move it, you old geezer. What? Did you just call me an old geezer? Where do you get off talking like that? You got no respect, brat. Don't think my age has a thing to do with my might. Even if it kills me, I won't let you through. I'm ready. Elder power activate. <laughs> Whoa, what's your problem, grandma? You got an ear hair tickling your brain or what? Oh, oh, what the? Ouch. Can't take another step. What a time for my stupid back to start acting up. <laughs> oh, the timer's still going. Oh no. You hot-headed old coot, you dare defy me? I could shine my boots with you. You'll do no such thing. Honestly, did you really think we'd let a wretch like you escape? Damn it, I forgot to switch coops back in. I do believe you'll be handing over that crystal star and promptly exiting this tree. Baba ha ha? You guys are nuts, you know that? Oh well, I guess I'd better shut off this timer. Okay, you pests. One pummeling coming up with extra fists. Metal fists, that is. Boss time! Awake, Magnus Von Grapple. Time for a technological thrashing. Enjoy.
Are you crying yet? Yeah? Sorry, but this thing isn't armed with tissues. <laughs> like, what the fuck kind of word is that? I'm convinced that the people who wrote the dialogue for this game got, like, super drunk, super high, whatever, and just wrote this game stripped. <laughs> like, this, sorry, but this thing isn't armed with tissues. What kind of word? What kind of wordage is that? Well, Magnus Von Rappel has that effect on people. Total weep in terror. And you ain't seen nothing yet. Check out the power on this bad boy. Mercy me, that metal colossus is incredible. And yet, there's something rather odd about it. Let's just keep our eyes peeled. Don't be careless. I like how the audience is half divided. Um, Puny's on one side, the astronaut's on the other. <sighs> We're going to swap partner to Gumbella. Shit, who is also in danger of dying. <laughs> um, I have a life shroom. I'm going to use a mushroom on Gumbella so she doesn't die. I have a life shroom on, for Mario. If he... Um, here it comes, sucker. So if he gets... If he dies, it's fine. Magnus Von Punish. That's Magnus Von Grapple. It's a giant robot built by the x Not. x Not. Lord Crump drives it. HP is 30, attack is 2, defense is 1. Its most effective attack is one that takes advantage of its size, a smother and stomp. It can also shoot out its fists, which do these super gnarly rocket punches. Its fists have HP 2, attack 4, defense 0. Excuse me. Its fists are super powerful, so it's best to knock them down fast. The thing about this robot is I can't tell if it looks really cool or really, really stupid. Alright, uh, we're going to charge. Attack power is now boosted. Uh, we're gonna... I meant to swap my partner, damn it. That's fine. We're going to power bounce Magnus. Oh, I got capped. Oh, it ain't over yet. This is so awesome. Check out what else this guy can do. You're going to love it. This might not work out too well for you. Uh, Koops can't... Um, I guess we finally get to see Flurry in battle. Koops can't take out those um, uh, rockets. Perfect. All right. Oh, no. Oh, I don't have... Okay. No. Turtley leaf! I have a turtley leaf! I'm in peril. This is fantastic. This is exactly what I want. Yeah! Oh, that was awesome. Ah, this could be the end. 31 uh, star points, too. Nice. Almost a level up. Bah, bah, no. Magnus Von Grapple, how could we lose? Huff, huff, huff. I'll remember this, losers. <laughs> Lord Crump summons us. GG easy. Arouse and success, Mario. How delightful. They're gone. This place can go back to being the peaceful place I remember. All right there, Mardio. <laughs> you can have the Emerald Star, the crystal star that resided in this tree. And that is Chapter 2. You got a crystal star, and you learned the special move, Clock Out. And so, after pummeling Lord Crump, Mario obtained the second crystal star. With the x Knots gone, peace once again prevailed throughout the Great Tree. The bodily woods echoed with the puny songs of joy. But this may not be the last our hero hears from the vile x Knots. They will surely continue to stand in Mario's way and try to put a stop to his efforts. 
So now, uh, like I said yesterday, um, between every chapter is a Peach intermission and a Bowser intermission. So we'll see the which uh, we go to the Peach intermission first. What? Say that again. You can't get in touch with Lord Crump? You are correct, sir. We are investigating now. We should hear any time. Sir Grotus, please allow me to enter. Can you imagine? He's like, please allow me to enter. No. <laughs> I have a report, sir. The crystal star in the bodily woods has apparently been taken by Mario. What? You must be joking. What about Lord Crump and the Shadow Sirens? Uh, I'm sorry, sir. Unfortunately, Mario laid a beating on all of them. Hmm. Disturbing. This Mario character, what kind of... Speak up, x not What is the status of the other crystal stars? I apologize, sir. We are still searching for the other crystal stars. Unsuccessfully, sir. We knew of three of them. Hooktail Castle, Bodily Woods, the one we got in Roadport. That means there are four crystal stars left out there. And we will have them. Keep looking so that Mario won't beat us to the punch. So... They already have a crystal star. Yes, sir. As I suspected, there's no reason to doubt that Mario has that map. He must. Listen up, you. I want you to keep a close watch on what Mario does from now on. Absolutely, sir. Mario. I loathe you. <laughs> I loathe you. <laughs> Someone's salty. Oh, Mario, did you even read the mail I sent you, I wonder? I wonder so many things. I wonder how everyone is doing at the castle. Will I never dance at the Mushroom Ball again? What will become of me? Then we can control Peach again. So this is the bathroom again. We don't really need to do anything in here. Just the bathroom. Hmm, doesn't seem to open. Okay, never mind. I was like, maybe we do need to shower? Question mark? Oh, is this text doing again? <laughs> Hello, Princess Peach. I am glad you came. That mail I sent to Mario, did it reach him all right? Yes, I can confirm that Mario received the mail. Is that so? Well, good. So what do you want from me today? Is there more you want to know of love? You expressed regret earlier that you would not be able to dance at a ball, correct? Excuse me? <laughs> Were you eavesdropping? I am sorry, Princess Peach. I have been ordered to keep surveillance on you. But it is odd. When you said that, I had an impulse to dance with you as well. How my CPU would produce this impulse is inexplicable. I must find what caused it. Find out what caused it? There's no reason behind such a feeling, Tech. Wanting to do something together, it's part of love. I know it. But then again, you are, well, a computer. Princess Peach, please dance with me. Wait, wait just a minute. What am I supposed to do? You say you want to dance? It's just so bizarre. I mean, how in the world can I dance with you? You have no arms or feet or moves. Damn! <laughs> Would this be an acceptable dance substitute? Oh my goodness, is that me? Did you create that? Oh, alright, I guess. I must say, though, it's going to feel weird dancing with myself. Press the buttons as they display on the screen. Oh shoot. <laughs> I pressed A again. <clears throat> she just dances with herself. Thank you, Princess Peach. That was very fun. Just a moment. Fun? Is this impulse I feel the concept known as fun? <laughs> Tech, are you okay? 
Princess Peach, I will fulfill my promise to you. Please use my communicator. Use the keyboard to send whatever message you want. I'm finished, Tech. Did you send it? The message has been sent. Please go back to your room. I want to analyze the data from this dance immediately. The data that I thought was fun. He's like overloaded, like literally. You're a weird computer. <laughs> no, you are mistaken. I am the world's best and only perfect computer. <laughs> Good night, Princess Peach. And now Bowser, perpetually two steps behind. Pretty sure it's just up ahead here. Right as usual, Lord Bowser, we just got word that Princess Peach was spotted in the town up ahead. Good, yes, very good, then I'm off. These fools don't know what's coming. Mwahaha, <laughs> my lord, you're so super. <laughs> Ready to roll, Bowser times infinity! <laughs> hey, Coffee Kitten, how are you doing? Oh, no! I did not mean to die. I was trying to get the coin. Yeah, this is a really fun game. I I, uh, I played this a lot when I was growing up. <laughs> and he's Bowser's so big that he can't even get into his into his little castle. <laughs> Oh, hey, welcome to Petalburg, and... Eek! Hide, everybody, hide! <laughs> hmm, what a wuss. Yes, hide, chickens, I have no need for any of you. What I do need, though, is Princess Peach. Now, where is she? Tell me this instant. Lord Bowser, over there. Bingo, Princess Peach. Man, that was easy. I found you, my princess. I, Bowser, the mighty Koopa King, offer my greeting. <laughs> now, now, none of that silent treatment. You're coming to my castle with me. Waha, clearly she's so overcome with joy that she's been left speechless. The mind of a maiden is, well, rather complicated. Ha 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 ha, I see, I see. How refined, how elegant, awesome. I suppose I could live with a silent princess. It might even have its perks, you know? <laughs> no! My my life's treasure. I'd rather die than give up my life-sized peach poster. <laughs> but poster? Oh my goodness me. Didn't see that coming. <laughs> great. Just great. Now I look like the huge mighty cane of guys who talk to posters. <laughs> Poor Bowser. <laughs> and that's the Bowser intermission. Uh, thank you, Mario, for everything you've done. We can go back to our peaceful way of life now. You know, son, now that we get right down to it, I'm kind of sad to see you go. I do love pontificating, so come on by whenever you want to sit and chat a while. <laughs> Yes, please come back and visit. We'll watch for you. We'll work together from now on to prevent anything like that from happening again. Thanks for showing us how to stick together, Mario. Good luck with the Crystal Stars. Oh, this shan't be our last visit. Certainly not. But until then, ta-ta. See you, Mr. Mario. Bye-bye, Flurry. Did I level up? I did not. 
However, for some reason, I'm full health. <laughs> oh, I think I full health after I, every time I get a crystal star. So now that we're, oops, now that we're done with that, we can actually get to the the good chapter. Uh oh, oh man, incoming mail. Like I said yesterday, um, every time I get mail from Princess Peach, this this little Mar uh, Mario theme plays, and it's that's how you know it's mail from Peach. Dear Mario, I'm sure you're very concerned about me. But please know I'm fine. I'm actually more worried about you. The fiends who kidnapped me are searching desperately for the crystal stars. I'll try to learn what I can about them. I'll email again if I uncover anything, okay? You must know I miss you. Lately, I've dreamt about our days back in the castle. I hope we'll spend carefree days there again soon. Princess Peach. Pretty nice, huh, Mario? It's so funny. Like, you look at Mario. This guy's like a chubby Italian plumber with a fat mustache. And he has, like, this gorgeous princess by his side. It's like, what the hell? It's a prank! No! Um. <laughs> Personality, yeah. That's definitely, that's gotta be the reason. What? No flame to Mario, though even though it looks like it. <sighs> Man. Peach likes dad bods. Yeah, we we all have types. No no uh no flame. <laughs> Nothing to do with his plumbing. <laughs> Electrified. Enemies to make contact will get hurt. Later on, there's a badge that lets me um, jump on top of spiky things, and that's arguably one of my favorite um, badges in the game. Um, so, fun fact, uh, the worlds that we're going to, it's actually impossible to game over in. So we're going to stay at 10 HP. We're going to get more badge points right now. <sighs> Okay, we're good. <laughs> so now we can go to the Crystal Star. Or the Thousand Year Door, I'm sorry. <clears throat> Conveniently, we're right next to it. I don't want to get hit by the Spinda. Happy Heart Partner. Slowly and automatically restore HP in battle for your ally. Yahoo! Now my little Mario, it's Crystal Star time. I don't know why I keep forgetting to put Flurry away. <laughs> so the if if anyone wasn't here yesterday or if someone's forgotten already, the premise of this is one each crystal star will lead to the next crystal star and will point to its location on the map. So the first crystal star led to that green one. This green one's going to lead to the next one, so on and so forth.
The location of a crystal star has been recorded on your magical map. Oh, mercy me, the next crystal star has made an entrance. My, my, my. But, correct me if I'm wrong, but isn't it up in the sky? What does that mean? Hmm. <laughs> hmm. Give me one moment here. Uh, that means that beneath this town, the thousand-year door, the thousand-year-old ruins remain intact. And that door's been sealed shut for a thousand years by the crystal stars. In order to open that seal, we have to muster the power of all of the crystal stars. Perhaps I'm just daft, but why would they want to seal this treasure away? <laughs> oh, why? Why are the writers like this? Like literally, like. What? <laughs> Perhaps I'm just daft! Did they fear thieves and brigands? If not, then what? No, that's not... Hmm? That's not what? I don't know! <laughs> Frankly, please. I'm sorry, so sorry. I know that the treasure was sealed away around the time the town was destroyed, but the problem is, no one's even sure what it was that caused the town's demise. All that's written is this, darkness stole the sky and the cataclysm rained down. I must research this more, assuming we'll just make an- well, you know the same. Oh yes, how inappropriate. In any case, what about the location of this crystal star that's floating on the map? Very interesting, perhaps it's pointing to the floating town of Glitzville. There's a stunning arena there where great warriors engage in furious battles. Ostensibly, families go there on vacation to lounge and enjoy the fights, but behind the scenes, the richest people in the world wager on the bouts. A floating city, you say? So are we just supposed to sprout wings and fly there, darling? Do tell. A special blimp flies there. It departs from Roadport several times a day. The problem is getting a seat. The only way to get a ticket is through certain channels. Oh, that sounds exciting. A little on the seedy side. Show me the way. Hmm, I don't know, but I guess we don't have much choice. Word on the street is, all tickets go through Don, Pian Don Pianta on the west side. Head west from Roadport's main plaza and you'll reach the west side of town. That part of town is under the control of Don Pianta, the Pianta Syndicate head. Apparently, Don Pianta makes pretty regular jaunts over to Glitzville. Hmm, I like the sound of this Don Pianta fellow. I cannot wait to meet him. It may sound easy, but he's a syndicate boss, folks. The rumors about him are scary. And Don Pianta is a, re is a recluse. Just getting an audience with him will be difficult. <sighs> so, full disclosure, Chapter 3 is one of the two, one of my two favorite chapters in this game. It is a blast of fun. <laughs> But first, Luigi! Fresh from his return from the volcano. Well, I went to Rumble Bump Volcano and got myself a marvelous compass piece. Uh, those who, again, if you weren't here yesterday, Luigi's basically on a mere quest of Mario's. Uh, while Mario's on his own quest for the for the seven crystal stars, Luigi's trying to assemble this uh, marvelous compass. He's in the Waffle Kingdom and trying to save his princess Eclair. And... It's it's pretty it's pretty weird. It's funny, but it's pretty not weird, but like weird like a ha ha funny kind of way. It was an incredible quest. There was danger and all sorts of adventure in. It was pretty nuts, bro. Want to hear what happened? It's a pretty long story. Yeah, sure. Sounds good to me. Which part of my story do you want to hear? Rumble bump volcano. As soon as my ship docked on the Pudding Continent, I set out for the volcano. To reach my destination, I spent several days fording through dense jungle. Scary beasts were all over. More than once, I thought I was done for, bro. I may have screamed a bit, to scare them off, you know? But as fate would have it, a blooper named Bluey heard me shrieking and found me in this one town. Bluey was on a journey of his own, but he joined me after hearing my tale. Now Bluey's a madman. Back in his hometown, they call him White Torpedo. Yeah, he's a tough guy. Anyway, he helped me fight to Rumble Bump Volcano. This place was all about bubbling lava pools and the heat that make and heat that make the sun sweat. And the place was lousy with evil traps designed to protect the compass piece. The scariest one of all was this gigantic 100 foot tall statue that stomped around. Now the weakness of this giant statue, bro, was a red gem on its forehead. Now I can jump high, but not high enough to reach that thing, or this thing, by a long shot. So I came up with this plan for Bluey to hit that weak spot. All you, man, I said. I waited for a pause in the statue's movements and hucked Bluey up there. And Bullseye, the white torpedo, saved the day. That jewel got whacked. 
It was a critical hit, and that stone statue toppled and crumbled into pieces. Once that was done, it was an easy stroll to the room where the treasure was. Unfortunately, Princess Eclair was nowhere to be found. But I got another piece of the marvelous of the marvelous compass and put it in the base. Now the compass pointed west to Plump Belly Village on the Strudel Continent. So I set sails once again and came back here to Road to Roadport to recharge. That's what happened to me lately, but I'll be heading back out soon. Like he's literally just on like every single time I come back from Roadport after one of my uh, chapters, Luigi will be here with a chapter of his, and I think it's hysterical. <laughs> Uh, if you want to know, if you want to hear what I've been up to, just come around me. Come around to find me. And it's funny because his partner, he's like, "This guy's a total liar. Don't listen to him." You heard his story, right? Well, he did try to throw me, but he completely tripped. And what happened? I end up landing in lava. Lava, man. You think that feels good? Thanks to him, you can stick a fork in me. I'm well done. My pale skin's crispified. I'll never forgive this guy. I'm gonna make him pay if it takes my whole lifetime. That's the only reason I'm still hanging around with him. You'll pay, Luigi. <laughs> Uh, poor guy. What do you got for sale? Wabushi. I have, like, no... 10, 10, 15. Yeah, everyone's full health. I feel like I should get some form of items, but nah. Uh, and we gave the contact lens to, Ze uh, to Zesty, so now we can get on the west side of, of Roadport. This is the west side. That star piece I knew was there. <laughs> oh, how refreshing. This is my favorite place. It's the only peaceful area in all of Roadport. Troops got left outside. My mom just plays games all day long. She doesn't have a job. She never cleans. It's terrible. Oh my god. My wife spends all day in the parlor, so I never get anywhere on my novel. I wish I could have fun too. I want to go see. I I want to go to Glitzville and see the matches. Poor guy. And it's funny because there is kind of a going to the theater is like my hobby or something. I mean, the reason I like the drama so much is because I live in a town like this. It hasn't been as fun lately since my favorite actress left the stage for good. It's torture for fans like me. Um, there's like a parlor where you, like I guess gamble and stuff. It's pretty funny. <sighs> Yet another day dwindles away while I loaf in bed doing nothing. Oh, guess what? I won first prize in the Happy Lucky Lottery today. But I didn't even go outside. I should have gone to collect my prize. Oh well. I'm already rich anyway, so whatever. <laughs> Jeez. I almost fell down that grate. Man, that was close. I know where that thing leads to, too. All too well, and I don't want to go there. <laughs> the boss told me to look after this place. You do anything funny, I'll toss you like that. Hi there, cutie. Welcome to Westside Goods. What can I do for you? a door. Oh, I forgot how to... Uh, so, there's something to do with this shop in order to get into Glitzville, but I don't necessarily remember what it is. That's the blimp. Um, I'm trying to remember... doesn't seem to open. 
Oh, I get it. You're trying to open that giant doorway down there, aren't you? What do you think is behind that thing, huh? I don't know, man. Soft Stomp. Executes superbly to make enemies soft. I don't remember what soft does. I think it just lowers their defense. Uh, I don't remember where I am at the moment. Ah! No, I don't want Flurry. I want Grimbella. Man. That's a Spania. A Spinia with spikes on its head. It looks meaner, too. 3, 1, 0. Sort of the same as a Spinia. You ought to watch out for the spikes on its head, but otherwise just wail on it. I gotta be honest, though. The way that thing spins makes me want to yak. Man. Um... We haven't even used uh, Plock Out yet either. Plock Out is a fun ability, but definitely not one of my favorites. Plock Out basically just um, um, if I remember correctly, there's a bomb that drops down with the Crystal Star, and you have to like throw it and then input commands to make the bomb bigger, and whoever the bomb explodes on gets stuck in time. They're, they're, they can't move. I, here, let's go into the parlor. Maybe it's, maybe someone in the parlor knows uh, about how to get um, into the to Don Pianta. Because I honestly cannot remember how. Hey, how are you doing? What? Me? I'm on top of the world, baby. What's that now? You want to know how to get a member's card, do you? Well, let's see. Maybe if you help someone in trouble, they'll give it to you. I love checking my scores on this machine after playing games. I'm here all day. What? My family is worried about me? Oh, don't be silly. They don't mind. They're all so independent. They're happiest doing their own things. Oh my god. <sighs> Welcome to the parlor. Hey, hey, you're Mario, like the one and only. I know all about you. Rescuing Princess Peach is important work, but even heroes need realization. So what can I show you? I don't have a member's card. This place is run by Don Pianta. You can play fun games in here and win Pianta tokens to redeem for prizes. Play to win. Yeah, I don't know how to do that, though. I am a bit lost. I'm gonna check the bad shop up here before I forget. Um, but then I'll talk to Frankly again, see if he knows anything. <clears throat> Close call. Pretty lucky. Power rush. Increase attack power by two when Mario's in danger. Unsimplifier. Close call P. Nah. The close call is uh, tempting, but um, I don't really need it. Especially because I have the attack plus 5 when I'm in peril. Does this guy know anything? He's shady. Guess not. Frankly, help. What do? Uh, okay. Frankly's no help. I cannot remember. I know it has something to do with the shop, but I 
don't remember who to talk to about the shop. Um. Sorry, what these guys are saying is not really important. I'm just trying to see if I can get something. Man, nothing over there. God, how do I get a blimp ticket? It's it's something to do with the shop. What is it? Let's go to the the east side. See what we can find out really quickly. Maybe someone on the east side will know. I can take you. I'm not paying him. I can when I can kick his ass instead. <laughs> Gus. That's Gus. He's super. He's super annoying. He tries to take tolls from everyone. Twenty-three zero. All in all, he's pretty tough. And I told you a million times that pointy spear of his hurts if you jump on it. I wonder if this guy watches people pass three six, three sixty-five days a year. Talk about a workaholic. Attacks might miss. Wonderful. Well, finger slipped, but it didn't matter anyway. I really need cubes to hit this. Man. Come on, Coops. There we go. 19 star points. Crud, you dumb video game heroes always pull stuff. Always pull this stuff. It's ridiculous. You think violence solves everything, don't you, huh? Don't you? He just runs away. Locked from the inside. This area is the turf of Ishnail and the Robo Band of Thieves. The boss is usually hiding out in a back alley that few people can spot. My name's Pierre. I'm what's technically called a completely awesome thief. I used to work as a geologist researching the rocks under town, but it paid nothing. That's when Ishnail, the boss of the Robos, picked me up. I've since washed my hands of geology and am now an amazing thief. Ha 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 ha. Alright then. <sighs> you want something, chump? This is the fortress of the Robo Thieves. You lost? What business brings a chump like you to a place like this? Say it ain't no say it ain't vacation. Was that? You wanna meet that lying, cheating, stealing, no good, jerky for brains, Don Pianza? He's just yeah. Real thieves like us end up poor as dirt, never catching a break because of that guy. Did you come here knowing all that? Yeah! And you know that scumbag demands protection money from us too, yeah? You know all that, and you still want us to tell you how you can meet that crumb? Fine, Mr. Insensitive Jerk, but it'll cost you 64 coins and no budget on the price, not a single coin. Inside info is pricey. Thumbs the brakes. Forget you, pal. What? Oh, fine, I get it. Don't want to pay, huh? Fine, no pay, no way, I say. Come back when you're ready to stop being a cheapskate. I don't even know if I have 64 coins. I don't. Make yourself at home if you want. That's funny. Like, 
like there was no whooping. Yeah, guys like you act real cool when you win, but when you lose, you're all wah. Dude, I don't even have 64 coins. Where am I going to get 64 coins from? <sighs> um, yeah, I have no idea. I guess I can sell a badge. I can sell a badge or two. Well, first I can use this free in coupon. And get all my health back from... My health and my flower points back from fighting Gus. <clears throat> I know... It has something to do with the shop, but I, I just really do not remember, so I guess I have to pay 64 coins because I just don't remember. I could just look it up, but I don't want to do that. I'm selling. Um, let's see. Drops damage your ally deals and receives by one. That's a hundred coins, so I could sell that one. I don't plan on ever using it. <sighs> kind of dumb that I have to sell a badge just so I can move on. But we're good. Ready to stop being a cheapskate. You really want me to tell you how to meet Don Pianza, the scum of the earth? Cost you 64 coins, fine. You'll pay, really? Yeah, you heard me. I, I mean, good call. You're a shrewd businessman. 64 coins, on the nose. Okay, then. Clean those ears out and listen here. There's a parlor in the west so part of town that's run by that worm, Don Pianza. Go to the store next to the parlor buy a dried shroom and a dizzy dial damn it see i knew it had to do with the store i just didn't remember what it was dried shroom dizzy dial make sure you buy them in that order dried shroom dizzy dial you do that and the shopkeeper is going to ask you what your favorite color is you answer yellow you got that not green not blue yellow see yellow is the passcode for getting into don don scumbags oh so comfy office you got all that can i have my coins back Darn. Oh well. <sighs> I'm not really worried too hard about losing 64 coins because again, we're we're gonna make a bunch of money um, coming up anyway. Just kind of annoying that I forgot. Dried shroom dizzy dial yellow. Good news is we know where to go now. Go though. Alright. Dry Shroom. Dizzy Dial. Yeah, yeah, here we go. Alright, mister, what color is your mustache? Yellow. What's wrong with me? That wasn't the right question at all. Let's try this again. What's your favorite color? <laughs> well, you check out. You know the password. You must be an acquaintance of Don Pianza. Good for you. I have a yellow mustache. You can go through the door. Go on with your bad self. Oh my gosh. Alright. Hey, this is the office of the Pianta Syndicate. Don't tell me you don't know that, dat. If you got no business here, scram a lamb. What's with you, wise guy? I ain't too I ain't too jolly today. If you got a beef, spit it out quicker. This is gonna hurt. Excuse me. 
excuse me, <laughs> excuse me, you wanna, you want me to give you a ticket for the blimp? See, now to me, that's funny. You a stand-up comedian? No, you ought to be. You got some nerve asking me for that. I'm Don Pianta. I make crying babies weep. You want I should run this bum out on a trail? On a rail, boss? Look at him. What a rube. You must like pain, funny guy. You just looking for trouble or what? Not so fast, boys. I like this kid's grump grumption. He just came to talk, no? That ain't a crime. So we talk. You boys can wait till we're done before you rough him up. You got it? So I gotta assume you got a reason for wanting a ticket for the blimp. Out with it. What's that? You want to help some broad what got herself kidnapped? And to rescue this dame, you're out collecting the crystal stars? The crystal stars? Hey boss, ain't those things in that legend about an ancient treasure? Vinny, you're such a dope. Hey boss, this knucklehead believes in fairy tales. Uh, excuse me, but that's not true. The treasure is real, honest. Everybody just shut it. I don't care if the treasure is real or not, get me? But I tell you, I can't help but like a guy who wants to rescue some skirt he fell for. I made my decision. You do me a little favor, and you get your blimp ticket. Sounds fair, right? Sure, we can do anything. What is it? It's easy. It's nothing. It's less than nothing. See, the thing is, my own daughter eloped with one of my young associates. They vanished, but it wasn't too long ago that they did. They ought to still be nearby. You ought to find my daughter Francesca and Dis Franti and bring them both here. If you are unable to bring them here, then all you gotta do is tell me where they are. Then I shall settle this matter quickly and with what is known as extreme prejudice. <laughs> Boss, we don't know nothing about this guy. You can't rely on some goofball for this job. Yeah, boss, Vinny's right. Leave it to us to find Francesca. Quiet, you. It's because you lugs can't find her that I gotta swallow my pride and ask this guy. I hope you dopes ain't making complaints about my decision. You making complaints? No, boss. Whatever you say goes, boss. I don't know what I was thinking, boss. It won't happen again, boss. Here to boss, boss. <laughs> yeah, they're pretty funny. Good. I'm glad we're all full of understanding for one another. So it's settled, yeah? Find my daughter and her friend, then come see me. Francesca and Franti look like this. And just so we're clear here, if you don't find my daughter, your luck may turn terrible. These guys are pretty fun. It's, they're literally just an angry mob syndicate. <laughs> When I was younger, it took me forever to actually find these, uh, find her, find his daughter. I was genuinely so lost. For I, I checked the Bodley Woods. I checked Petalburg because he said nearby, but I didn't know. The only place that I never ever checked was the pier or the dock because they're they're there. <laughs> I felt so stupid when I figured it out. Hey, back off, you creep. You want something, or are you just like sliding up to or sidling up to people? Is that a word? Sidling? What? Daddy asked you to find us and take us to him? Frankie, what should we do if Daddy finds us now? Oh, I don't know, and the boat's coming any minute. Dollface, maybe we gotta head back and try to talk to the boss one more time. No, Frankie, don't say that. Don't you know what he'll do to you if we do that? Francesca, baby doll, if we can just talk calm like with the boss, he'll understand. Oh, Frankie, my Frankie, don't you love me? Of course I love you, sugar cookie, more than anybody in the whole world. Then let's go, Frankie, let's run to the ends of the earth if we have to. But Butter Biscuit, they already found us out. We can't keep running forever. We can, Frankie, the more you try to put out the flames of love, the hotter they burn. Until I marry you, no one will extinguish these flames of passion, no one. <laughs> Don't you see, mister? I beg you, pretend you never saw us, can you do that? Of course, sniff. No way, sob sister. What did you say to me, you terrible, terrible man? Fine, have it your way, but we won't go with you. Never. I won't move from this spot. Bug off, I'm not going anywhere with you. What am I going to do with this crazy dame? <laughs> That's so funny. I want my blimp ticket. What should we do? I mean, I guess we should go tell Don Pianta something. But I, I don't want our luck to turn terrible, whatever that means. <clears throat> so now basically we just go report back
Come on, open the door, please. Thank you. <clears throat> oh, look who's come back. It's a proverbial mustache. You're gonna brighten my mood? So give, what you got? You know the runabout the whereabouts of, of these two runaways? I can't tell you that. Sure do, and I'll tell you. Oh, is that a true fact? Road Port Harbor, eh? Well done. I appreciate this favor you've done for me. I'll prepare your blimp tickets. Hey. Hey, you two nimrods. The kids are at the harbor. Now go get them. <laughs> Daddy, wait! <laughs> but Daddy, I love him! <laughs> Literally that. Francesca. Boss, forgive me, boss. I'm sorry, truly I am. Frankie, so, back you came. Back you come, head hun low and with your tail between your legs. No, Daddy, don't hurt him. I'm the one who said we should elope. It was me. But Frankie said no. He said we should come back and talk to you, Daddy. Boss, listen, I don't care what you do to me. I deserve it all for being disloyal. But you gotta forgive her. Forgive your daughter, boss. That's all I ask. No, 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 no. I'm the bad one. It's my fault. If you're going to punish anyone, punish me. <laughs> No, boss, it's all on me. It's my responsibility. All the blame. Oh my god. Yeah, enough. Quiet, both of you. Francesca, my headstrong daughter, you used up your last favor long ago. And you, Frankie, you were like a son to me. This is how you repay your debt to Don Pianta? I feel such disappointment in you two. It's like a poison shroom in my gut. But daddy, I love him. I don't ever want to see your muds again, you hear me? Get out of my sight, both of you. I don't care where, just go. That's what you expected me to say, huh? Well, that's what I'm saying. Go. Do what you want, even if it means getting married. Oh, Daddy! The heart. Dad, no, wait, I mean, boss! The heart! Thank you so much, thanks for your blessing. Boss, I'll make your daughter a happy woman, I promise you. She'll want for nothing. Enough already, just go. Go. Sniff! <laughs> Francesca, seeing you this happy makes me happy too. Congrats, both of you. Frankie, this is great. It ain't quite what I promised, but hey, things turned out okay, am I right? Goodbye, Daddy. Farewell, and thank you. It's wild. You still here? Well, you found my daughter and got her to come back here. And just look at how things turned out. What a complete and utter soap opera. <laughs> yeah, the heart emoji. <laughs> But hey, a deal's a deal. You can have your blimp ticket, like I said. A ticket for the airship that travels to Glitzville. Who knew? That guy's got her smile and ear to ear. She's happy. That's good. Hey, I knew you were the right man for the job. Thanks a bunch, Pally. But I don't want to see that gloomy face of yours no more. Don't ever come back here. <laughs> Alright, so now we can hit Glitzville up. This is my favorite chapter. Like, actually. Oh, 50. Never mind. I think I still have mine anyway. Yeah, this chapter is a lot of fun. Well, we did it, Mario. We can go to Glitzville. I still have the puny orb, oops. Koopley. Coop oh, it must be his dad. I'm just amazed. I had no idea a machine like this could be used to send messages. Technology, wow! I'm doing great. Drinking fresh spring water, picking wildflowers, polishing my shell. This town seemed so boring ten years ago, but I see the world differently now. I bet you'll like Petalbird more than you used to once you get back from your adventure, Koops. So where are you headed next? I want, to, I want you to see the wide world, son. It'll be good for you. But don't go too far past that front door. Ah ha ha ha, from Koopley. That's funny. Yeah, like, the characters will just send you, uh, uh, little emails now and then. It's really funny. Most of them are irrelevant like that, but it's, it's cute. This blimp goes to Glitzville. Will you be joining us on our flight today? Please allow me to check your boarding pass. Then please watch your step as you step aboard.
Chapter 3 <coughs> Of Glitz and Glory Glitzville. Uh, yeah, this would be Glitzville, all right. How do they make it float? I mean, it hasn't ever, you know, plunged from the sky or anything, has it? Time to hunt down that crystal star, huh, Mario? I know I'm ready. Let's fill Haynes out in the clouds. I'll give you two guesses why I like it here. <laughs> you rode the blimp here, didn't you? Boy, I envy you. I'm dying to ride that thing, but air travel makes me yak. Well, hi there, Murphy. It's Kroop, the mayor of Petalburg. House Coops. That's funny. <sighs> Hello there, you customer. The aroma of yum in the air is the specialty of Glitzville, Mr. Hoddle's famous hot dogs. Only ten coins for one. You will buy one? Sure, why not? Thank you, you customer. Hot dog. Refills 5 HP and 5 FP. Daddy, I'm hungry and I want to eat a hot dog and I want to eat it right now. Oh my god. I find this floating city concept quite fascinating. Yes, it intrigues me. I wonder what sort of coinage one might shell out to build a vacation home here. So this is Glitzville, not a bad place of a little on the, on the tawdry side. Perhaps I'll begin my stay here with a hostile buyout of that hot dog stand! <laughs> a hostile buyout, good lord. Spoken like a true one percenter. <clears throat> you see that hot dog stand over there? Best hot dog menu of all time, no joke. Hey, but you look more into fighting than hot dogs. Are you a pro? I'll root for you. I am not. Hey there, and welcome. Our doors are always open for thirsty fight fans. So grab a frosty juice, take a load off, and enjoy. He sells glizzies. <laughs> That fabulous mustache, I've seen it somewhere before, I know it. Yes, Mario. That is definitely a name I've heard somewhere before. Alright. You don't look very familiar. You on vacation? Me? Just the Lakitu who digs on combat sports, dude. Nice meeting you. Today's main event will rule. I'm, I'm betting on Rockhawk, no matter who's fighting him. <clears throat> ba da da ba Ba da da ba, ba da da ba, ba da da ba. Welcome to the Glitz Pit. There's a guy over there who gets paid to say that, right? Boy, it's hard to find a guy that clean cut and responsible these days. <laughs> sigh, I sigh just thinking about him. Welcome to the Glitz Pit. Here, savage battles go on each and every day. Miss Mouse. Well, hello, Mr. Mustache. We meet again. Well, hello there, you big burly hunk of a man you. You're smashing, dear. But I'm afraid I'm only interested in the champion, Rockhawk. Toodaloo. Alright then. Yo, out of the way, pal. I don't do stories on nobody. Sorry, move it or lose it. Move to one side, small fry. The only thing my camera shoots is famous athletes. Hey, Mr. Mustache Dry, where's Prince Mush? Hi, we're here because my son is a big fan of the former champ, Prince Mush. But... Looks like he's not around here anymore. 
And we came all this way just to see him. Bit of a crying shame, really. Sorry, bub, but authorized people only pass this point. If you're looking to see a match, head on through those main doors. How you doing, bud? I'm a freelance cameraman. I'm always after a scoop. <clears throat> Wow, this place is so cool. Hey Mario, look up there. There's a battle match going on right now. That's right. Uh, I think it's about time for you to feel the rock. Oof. <laughs> Stay down, pain cushion. You don't want more of this. Why'd you even show up? Yeah, you hear me talking, wimpy. Stay out of the ring or feel the burn, baby. Tell you what, do about a million push-ups and then come see Uncle Rockhawk. I'll give you another world-class spanking and send you crying home to Mama again. Hoo-wee, champ. That was a great A whooping. Your thoughts on the match? You call that a match? Ain't there a fighter out there who can challenge me? No, no one can. Hear me? Ain't a fighter out there that can even make me sweat. They're all a bunch of little crybabies cry running around in stinky diapers. You got a bone to pick? Come fight me. Bring it. I'll take on anyone. You weaklings might as well stick to video game fighting, okay? Because I'll hurt you. Yeah, number one, baby. Rockhawk is the champ. The Crystal Star is the championship belt. <laughs> you see that, Mario? The thing on the shiny belt. Is that a Crystal Star? Yeah, it's gotta be. That sparkles a Crystal Star. But that doesn't make much sense at all. Why would it be on that guy's belt? <clears throat> Boy, I don't know, Mario. It's not like we can just steal that guy's belt. Or can we? What should we do? What should we, uh, what should be our move here? Steal that thing. Let's battle our way to the top. That's the ticket, Mario. Do this thing right. All you have to do is become champ, and you'll get that belt fair and square. So I guess we better get started. There must be a novice sign up somewhere. My tummy's getting upset. Let's find the guy in charge before I lose my nerve. So the entire premise of this, ch of this entire chapter is you fight every single match in the glitz pit and it in order to become the champ or in order to make an attempt to become the champ but that's why i said this is the only chapter in the game you can't game over in even if you even if your health runs out what's that bub you want to become a fighter hmm well if you're serious you'd better go meet mr grubba the promoter mr grubba's office is just down the hallway you can't miss it head on through This is a minor lead locker room, bub. Sorry, you can't go in there. Fighters only. Major lead locker room. What's that? You want to be a fighter? Oh, all right. Go on in. Mr. Grubb is just inside. Who in tarnation are you, son? And who let you in? This is Grubba's office. Yep, that's me, Grubba. And you, you're one rude dude coming in without knocking. What now? An athlete, huh? You want to be a fighter? <laughs> oh yeah! Hoo-wee! That dude change a thing or two, son. Always got time for an up-and-comer. Yep, this place is packed to the gills with young fighters, all primed and a raring to go. I gotta say, son, you're a bit skinny for my tastes, but I'm willing to give you a shot. Now play me straight, son. You want to live the glamorous life of a champ, don't you? <laughs> Darn Skippy! <laughs> All right, all right, son. I hear where you're coming from, son. Loud and clear. When I was just a poor pup, I didn't give a pokey's patoot for fancy bitch city ways. But I jumped into the world of martial arts and fought my way to fame and riches. Now what I and know what I realized? Being rich and famous is diggity dane dynamite. <laughs> now I can't mix it up in the ring no more, but I earned enough to set me for life. You, re you reading me here, son? Dreams do come true, even if they ain't yours exactly. Yep, that's the key, son. Dream big, and you'll get big. That's the winner's way. And when you make it big, you look back at all those small dreamers and laugh. You reading me here, son? That's the spirit, chief. Here, let's have us a little walk and talk. Come on now.
Now how you like this, pard? Just feast your eyes. Go on. This is the champion's room. Isn't it a sight? Deluxe. You become champ son and you get the key to this room. That ain't all, of course. That's on top of the big money and screaming fans. Yeah, no doubt about it, son. Apply yourself and a life of wealth and comfort awaits. Now here we have a major lead locker room. A lot of contenders here. What you think, son, huh? Not exactly glamorous, but it's clean and comfortable. Totally sanitary, too. Maybe I'm old-fashioned, but I care about my fighters, darn it! <laughs> now, I'm sure you know this already, son, but there ain't but one world champion. Clawing your way to the top and taking the belt to become champ ain't an easy thing. But that's the point. Wouldn't be worth it if there weren't no challenge. I can see you got the fire for it, too, pard. You got the eye of the tiger there. You're gonna be champ. I can just feel it. I ain't never been so sure about a fighter. Oh, hey, one other thing. You gotta sign an itty-bitty contract to be a fighter. It ain't no thing. Just take a second or two of your time. Just jot your name here, okay? <laughs> sign me up. Best thing you ever done, son. Now, you're Mario. Ain't a bad handle. Still, I gotta say, part, it lasts a little punch as a fighter's name. Get me? Let me see here. Bam! Hoo-wee! I got it. From now on, you're gonna be the Great Gonzalez. Who? Ain't that a beaut? Dane, if that ain't a stroke of genius, the name that good comes around once a lifetime. Yep, everyone will soon bow before the Great Gonzalez. Make me proud, son. He's like, what the fuck? <laughs> well, now that we got the business side out of the way. Jolene, could you come in a minute, darling? Yes, sir, you wish to see me. Sure did, hon. Jolene, this is the Great Gonzalez, our newest rising star. Be a peach and take him on down to the minor lead locker room, alrighty? Right away, sir. Mr. Gonzalez, if you would be so kind, please follow me. As you know, you are a contracted fighter now, so you must abide by some rules. First and foremost, what Mr. Grubba says goes, period. You must do what he says. Also, as per your contract, you cannot quit until Mr. Grubba releases you. There are many other small guidelines that I will explain as they become relevant. <clears throat> I care about my fighters, darn it, but I let my minor leaguers in this locker room. <laughs> Here we are, this is your locker room. You're starting in the minor league, of course, as you've just now started your career. If you don't like this dinny room, I suggest you work your way up through the ranks. When you're ready to fight, you just log on to this computer terminal here. Mr. Grubba will then decide who you'll match up against. You'll have no say in this. Why don't you try it once? Walk up to the screen and log on with A. Then pick Reserve a Match. Welcome to the Automated Match Reservation System. What is your command? Let's see your rankings first. You need to know this now. But your current rank is 20th, the very lowest rank. Select reserve a match. Gonzalez? Yeah, I'm the great Gonzalez. I'm reserving a match. Well, howdy, Gonzalez. Ready to get your fists dirty, huh? There you go, son. I got a treat for you. Your first battle's gonna be against the Goomba Bros. Don't you worry about them. They'll be a piece of cake. Just mop them up, okay? We want to get everyone fired up, though. So appeal to the crowd at least once. So here's the here's the trick with, this, with the Glitz Pit. You could kill... You could wipe through every competition. It won't matter if you don't do these battle conditions. I could win this fight, but I didn't appeal to the crowd at least once, so I won't I won't be able to move on in the ranks. So every fight comes with a special condition that I have to do. So for like again, for this one, I have to appeal to the crowd at least once. So I appeal to the crowd and then kill everyone and then I'll move up the ranks. Uh you got any questions about detailed rules, just ask the lovely Miss Jolene, okay? Well good luck, pard. Your battle is reserved. At this point, you just wait until security comes for you. Fighting is pretty basic. The team that drops the opponent's HP to zero first wins. If you beat an opponent who ranks above you, your ranking will go up. Then again, if you lose to a lower ranking opponent, your ranking will go down. Simply winning is not enough. When Mr. Grubba sets the fight conditions, follow them. In this case, the condition is to appeal to the crowd at least once. Fairly easy. If you satisfy the condition and win, you can battle a higher ranked opponent next. If you can get your rank up to 11th, you'll get a shot at the Major League. That's about all you need to know for now. Did you understand all that? Okay, good. For now, just wait until security comes to get you, Mr. Gonzalez. Gonzalez, match time. Follow me, bub. 
Security's here to escort you to the ring. Try not to get completely destroyed out there. And they're just Goombas, so... Squaring off next, folks, are the Hoppin' Hardheads, the Goomba Bros. And a newcomer with a hankering for hammering, the Great Gonzalez. The Goomba Bros have been waiting and getting all head up for the fight. Let's check in. <clears throat> How do, Goomba Bros? How y'all feeling today? You ready for this fight? Are you kidding, man? We're always ready to bonk a fool or two. Who is this Gonzalez rookie? A cocky idiot, that's who. Waiting just makes us mad. We're going to teach this tardy punk how to respect fighters with seniority. I think maybe you ought to call an ambulance for him now, just to save time later. Hot diggity Dane, fight fans. There's the great Gonzalez now, striding on up. I tell you, this rookie's got some guts, strolling up late like he owns the place. Whew! Okay now, Gonzalez, listen up. Let me just explain the rules of the match real quick. Have a bonk, punch! <laughs> to the crowd at least once. Hey, that's not fair. That's no fair. You can't attack before the bell rings. That's cheating. Come on, Mario. We can't let a bunch of cheaters beat us. Let's take them down. Quit crying, will you? That was just a little welcome gift for the rookie. Where's our thank you? <laughs> so here's my appeal. And there's the match. <laughs> One star point. Let's go! <laughs> uh, the Great Gonzalez wins. Tell me, son, what was his first taste of victory life? <laughs> what a joke! <laughs> Tell you what I just saw, folks. A whooping. This kid's got skills. We got ourselves a new hero. Let's hear it for him, folks. Yeah, the Great Gonzalez. I love this. Well, Gonzalez, that fight wasn't a total loss. But listen, son, fighters gotta play to the crowd. You know, pump them up more. I'm hoping you'll give me more razzle-dazzle next time, huh? We understand each other? Good. I'll be on my way then. Miss Jolene here will give you your fight money. See ya. Here's your fight money, Mr. Gonzalez. Three coins! Mario's ranking rose to 19. The next fight will not be set up until you select reserve a match on the terminal. You can also check your current rankings on the terminal screen. Feel free to do whatever you like until your next fight. You have a nice day, Mr. Gonzalez. Yo, Rook, how was your first fight, dog? <laughs> I'm Teen K, man. Just a bush lead scrub like you. Good mean you, man. You look like a stand-up dude. I think I can hang with you. So why don't you meet the gang, huh? This guy here is Master Crash. Nice to meet you, bomb. Well... Now that we've gotten to know each other, I'll give you advice. Bomb. As Miss Jolene was saying, you'd better you'd better obey Mr. Mr. Grubba's condition. If you clear the conditions and win, you get to fight higher ranked foes. If you can't clear him, you end up battling a lower ranked fighter. You can't climb the ranks fighting the bottom of the barrel. Bomb bomb. <laughs> yeah, my man's got, you know, some speech issues, but he's got good advice sometimes. <laughs> Not just sometimes, advice is always useful. Right, man, whatever. Anyway, this lean machine over here is Bandy Andy. Nice to meet you. I'm not in here too often, but if you see me around, say hi. Oh yeah, if you sleep in the bed over there, your HP and FP will fully recover. It's not like the cushy bed in the champ's room, though, so it doesn't refill star power. Cool, and this last guy with the sweet purple tits is known as Kleftor. Grat, Kleftor no like make friend with mustache. <laughs> Easy there, Kleftor. Dude ain't the friendliest guy, but you get used to him. Anyway, that's the core minor league crew, man. You need something to ask us. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. You and me gotta eventually square off, so good luck, man. I can open lockers. <clears throat> Hello, Game Ideas Maker. How are you doing tonight? If I remember correctly, there is a um, something in one of these lockers. I'm probably misremembering. I'm doing good, doing good. Thanks for asking. Just uh, 
Making our way through the glitz pit. <clears throat> Boy, howdy, Gonzalez. Fits in for a fight, huh? Well, already then. Let me just see here. Your next opponent will be ranked 18 in the glitz pit. The KP Koopas. Now listen, son. In this battle, I want you to avoid using your hammer. Not even once. I want to see how you do when you ain't got something to, to beat a fellow with. Now get in there and let's see some acro acro acrobatifying. I don't know what that means. Hey, dog. Looks like your next match is against me. Good luck, man. To both of us. <clears throat> Gonzalez, match time. Follow me. For our next battle, we got the Merciless Executioner, the Great Gonzalez, and the Shell Machines of Doom. Yep, a fight to the finish with the KP Koopas. I'll try not to get in your way, Mario. Meet my peeps, Gonzalez. I told you we were going to square off, and now it's on. Get yourselves ready to battle. Don't use your hammer. Grumbella! That's a KP Koopa. It's a Koopa Troopa of a slightly different color. <laughs> Four, two, one. Looks like its abilities are just like any Koopa, so he ought to be a piece of cake. Don't go easy just because you know Team K. That's what friends are for. Aw, <laughs> oh, almost got three in a row. That's a KP Paratroopa. It's a Koopa Paratroopa of a different color. Four, two, one. Attach to the same as your average garden variety Koopa Paratroopa. So just do the same thing as always. Stomp on it, flip it, and drop its defense to zero. My head bonk is pretty effective against it too. Come on, let's get him. Uh, so now that they're all, like, uh, tattled, I can just jump on them. First things first, we're gonna bring the Paratroopa down. Um... Uh... Keep Goombella out for right now. <clears throat> we got ourselves a winner, the Great Gonzalez. What did you expect, huh? We rock. Here's your fight money. <clears throat> so each um, received four coins. Each time I win a battle and I meet the conditions, I get more money. Rank goes up. So, if you'll excuse me, I must be going. There is something that I did look up uh, last night prior to doing it, and it was in this world. So I want to set a timer at a certain point. I'll let you know when I set the timer. But it, it, it it's it's something that determines something for the rest of the game. And I'll explain that more when it happens. <sighs> hey, way to hand out a beatdown out there, man. You beat me, straight up. Could swing the other way next time, though. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> now we can just uh, go up. Like, see, we, when we uh, view the rankings, we're, like, slowly moving up. There's Rockhawk to the champion. Oh, boy, howdy. Fixed in for a fight. Next opponent will be the Pokey Triplets. In this battle, I want you to use at least one special move. The crowd needs something flashy. You catch my drift. Give them a good show. So that uh, would be actually a good time to like show off uh, clockwork. Since I haven't used it yet. For our next battle, we got the Merciless Executioner, the Great Gonzalez, and the Spike Terror Triplets. Yep, a fight to the finish with the Pokey Triplets. The the they say the entire the same thing every single time, so I'm just gonna like go ahead and just skip it every every time. Get yourselves ready to battle, all that good stuff. Use 
use a special move at least once. Pokey, it's a cactus school that's got nasty spines all over its body. 4-3-0. Look at those spines, those would totally hurt. If you stomp on it, you'll regret it. Pokey's attacked by lobbing parts of their bodies and by charging at you. They can even call friends in for help, so be quick about taking them out. Clock out. So this is the second crystal star. Oh, got it. Immobilized. Movement will be impossible for a while. I'm really bad at clockwork. I rarely use it. So that's probably going to be the one and only time I use it. But it just immobilizes for, uh, for a little bit. There's the, uh, there's that fight. We got ourselves a winner, the Great Gonzalez. We won? Cool! <laughs> Get my fight money. Now if you'll excuse me, I must be going. What's cracking, G-Man? You just finished beating down some poor fools or what? You looking good. The old King K wouldn't mind a little bit of your luck then. Yeah, that'd be nice. Get in there, you. How many times do I have to tell you? That room is absolutely off limits. If you want to remain on our fight roster, you must follow the rules. And don't think I haven't noticed you following me. Stop that too. It's creepy. <laughs> if you don't obey the rules, we'll ban you from the glitz pit. Understood? <laughs> Again, dude? Man, you just a magnet for trouble. Ha, <laughs> sorry, King K. Didn't mean to bring Queen Nag in here. Don't sweat it, B-Money. Jolene can take that toot and shove it in her nose. Why are you always chasing down that girl anyway, man? You got a little thing for her? Shut up, K. <laughs> now, if you folks will pardon me, I must be off. <clears throat> well, boy, howdy. Fits in for a fight, huh? Next opponent will be the Dead Bones. Uh, avoid using any of them special moves. That's fine. Yeah, duh. Does that not look like King K. Rule to you? It's clearly King K. Rule. They're, they're the same... You all I'm saying is you've never seen King K. Rule and King K. in the same room together. That's all I'm saying. <clears throat> Just skip all this. Got ourselves a winner, the Great Gonzalez. Yeah, a lot of these minor league fights are ridiculously simple. <sighs> you received five coins, rose to sixteen. Man, I heard you just knocked some blocks off. Not bad, Double G Dog. You're the real deal, man. The realest I ever seen. Keep busting heads. And if anyone gives you a lip, you just tell them King K said to back it up. Biz ow. Oh. Hurts! <laughs> Keep quiet. My foot! Oh, you're fine. Just shut up. Apply pressure right there. Ouch! Do we have a gag, maybe? Come on, get a grip, will you? Mommy! Out of the way up there. Sounds like some poor sucker just earned himself a trip to the hospital. <laughs> Hey man, this is a brutal sport sometimes, you know? This stuff happens.
Well, boy, howdy, Gonzalez. Fits in for a fight, huh? Ranked 15, Spike Storm. Avoid switching partners out. That's fine. I got Coops. Match time. <clears throat> For our next battle, we got the Merciless Executioner, the Great Gonzalez, and whatever. <laughs> oh, shoot. Don't change partners, but I need to for Goombella. So I'm gonna need to fight them again, but it's fine. Well, I don't need to, but I want to. Uh, that's a spiny, basically a spike-covered Koopa. Looks painful. Three, attack is three, defense is three. These things have such high defense that you can't even hurt them when they roll up. So when they go back to normal, do all the damage you can and do it quickly. If you flip them over, their defense drops to zero. That's the time to take them out. Jumping on them is just plain stupid, so try using a POW block or some other item. That's a Lakitu. It's a member of the Koopa clan that rides on clouds. Max HP is 5, attack is 2, defense is 0. It attacks by throwing spiny eggs. If you stomp on it when it's holding up a spiny egg, you'll take damage, so don't do it. Spiny eggs slowly hatch into spinies, so beat the Lakitu before fighting the spinies. Aw, this book doesn't answer my real question. Where does it keep all those spiny eggs? <laughs> Bum. Oh, it's cute. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't have any actual items. Uh, we'll just swap to shoot. We've already swapped, so it doesn't matter. Yeah, I didn't think so. Ba -ba -da -bum -bum. Oh, screw it. Still got it. <laughs> oh, but it did no damage to the... Wow! We're gonna have to fight them again because we uh, swapped out our partners. Hey man, check this. I heard the hot dog stand outside is getting a new menu item. Yeah, sounds like it's some crazy hot dog made with an egg from a southern island. Some fool was even saying the hot dog will help you win fights. You ought to snack on so you gotta snack out on one. Before we do that, let's take a rest. Let's go to the hot dog stand. Frickin' rock hawk. Everyone wants a piece of the rock. It's a tough life. Here's a little free advice. Try to be me. Yeah, because everyone loves to rock. 
Rockhawk is one of those characters that you just love to hate. <laughs> no, bad. So very bad. Behave yourself, Egg. No, bad. Come back. Help. My imported egg escaped. Somebody catch it. My menu was going to have the southern fried egg dog of tastiness, but now bad. I ordered that naughty egg from an island in the south. I had to pay shipping, too. Don't just stand there. Help catch it. Oh, stop it. I'm trying to jump. Oh my gosh, this guy. I feel like it's in a going in a pattern. Yeah, I was going in a pattern. <laughs> Most awfully bad. Come down from there, bad egg. How am I supposed to get it now? Fly there? You, don't just stand there with your mustache. Find a way to get up there. <laughs> Yoshi, get him! Zzz. Uh, I forgot how to get up there. I forgot how to get to the, uh, to the egg. Is Flurry... Yeah, Flurry is basically useless outside of the bodily woods. remember how to get this. That's, yeah, that would be make sense. <sighs> Duh. Power plus P. Boost your partner's attack by one. Actually, we're going to put that on right now. Oh, it's... Cost six. And I have three batch points that I'm not taking advantage of. Let's put Quake Hammer on. And then we'll put Last Stand. Why not? Timer. Is it just me, or do you think that egg, what, you want our help egg? Um, your call, Mario, what do you want to do? Let's help, <laughs> let there be hot dogs! Let's help the little guy. <laughs> yeah, we can't ignore it, good call, Mario, let's set this little guy free. Um, provided that's okay with you too, sir. Fine, most people don't like eating stuff that jumps all over the place anyway. Well, cool, looks like you're free and clear, little guy. Bye! Huh? What's with you now? You want to follow us or something? 
Um, I think he definitely wants to stick with us. What should we do? He can follow us. That's great. You're you're in with us, little buddy. Stay out of the way, okay? Timer on. <sighs> we'll read the email later. And I'll explain the whole timer thing once it happens. <clears throat> Spice storm, yep. Uh, avoid using your hammer, that's fine. Gonzalez, match time, follow me. Great Gonzalez versus Spite Storm. Oh, wait, I can't use my hammer. Um, okay, we're going to power bounce this guy. Heal. Alright, I can't do anything while they're like that anyway, so we'll appeal. Earth Tremor! Because <laughs> I can't jump on them. Nice, 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 nice. The great Gonzalez wins. We won? Cool. Me too, troops. <clears throat> Defends his rank at 15. You'll notice that since I didn't meet the other fight terms, I don't move up. Rather, I defend my my place. But now this one will move me up. Next opponent, the handed overs. Avoid using any of them. Their flower points. Oh my god. We're awfully quick, awful agile, and just plain awful. <laughs> if I remember correctly, these guys steal um, coins and items. Five, two, zero won't be able to steal anything, plus the look on a bandit's face when you guard successfully is priceless. A bandit steals coins from you, defeat it before he flees to get your coins back. That's fine. That's fine. Oh, well, my Ultra Shroom was stolen. My Life Shroom should go into effect, though. Yep. Man, I'm gonna lose my my big mushroom. Big bandit. Basically a boss on ordinary bandits. 830. He'll steal your items as well as your coins. Totally weak. If you guard well when he charges at you, he'll blow by without stealing anything. If he robs you, you won't get your item back unless you beat him right then. He'll run. Um... Wait, how do I have full HP again? 
What? I'm literally at full HP again, and I don't understand why. I was 1 HP. Oh, I died. That's right. Um, my life shroom saved me. I want that ultra shroom, but I also... Oh, s screw it. Oh my god, he's gonna run. I can't believe that. And I have to fight them again anyway, and he takes my Ultra Shroom. That's so annoying. <sighs> Man. Rose to 14. I'm gonna have to fight them again, though. You hear the latest, G Doc? My boy said they saw a stunning babe having a juice at the fresh juice shop. King K could use a little shorty in his life, dig? Check her out for me, man. <laughs> Your shroom, yeah, literally. Then I have to fight him again. Use at least one special. It's fine. Um. Okay, six and a half. Special move at least once. Appeal. Please be enough. Oh, so close. I wish I had had that um, condition in the last time. Oh, I wouldn't have lost my Ultra Shroom. Ultra Shrooms heal 50 HP. Mind bottlers. Uh, avoid using any items. Real men don't need no trinkets. It's fine, as long as I can use FP. Uh, I think once we get to uh, rank 11, we'll uh, cut it off for the night. The Mind Bottlers. Get it? Because they're from the bodily woods. Prepare to be ensnared, must mystified, and devoured. Don't use items. He was attacking coops. Yeah. 
<sighs> Got ourselves a winner. Here's your fight money. Now, if you'll excuse me, I must be going. Listen, man, keep it under your hat, but I'm thinking about retiring soon. If I stay any longer, well, my future might get shorter, dig? After next match, I'm gone. It ain't cool, man, that's for sure. But you know what? That's life, Double G Dog. Listen, you be cool, man. Promise me you won't forget you once knew the King K. <clears throat> We're gonna go check out the um the hot babe. Me, I'm doing a little research. Hey, speaking of which, ever hear of the seven wonders of the glitz pit? Yeah, this place has rumors and secrets and spades, but the seven wonders of the glitz pit are the most mysterious of the bunch. These things fascinate me, so I wander around doing research on them. Well, so how about it? Wanna hear about the seven wonders or not? Let's see, which one do you want to hear about? The sealed wall. They say there's a sealed wall in the minor lead locker room. Some say the remains of fallen athletes are stored in there. The man-eating toilet. They say in one of the arena's bathrooms, a man-eating toilet lurks. Some say that anyone who sees this toilet never sees anything again. The stairs of mystery. They say there's a room in the glitz pit with a second floor, but no stairs. They say no one has ever gone upstairs. And some say that groaning voices sometimes come from that second floor. The Haunted Boudoir. I don't know if I said that right. They say that the champion's room is haunted. Some say if you keep still in the room, you'll hear voices whispering from nowhere. Some even say the voices are athletes who lost to the champion. Um, Spooky Rin Lights. My friend's friend's friend told me this one. He said he saw a strange light leaking under the ring doors when no one was there. He couldn't see inside since the doors were locked. I plan to investigate this myself. The missing ones. They say sometimes fighters disappear for no reason, never to return. Some say that the very first champion, Prince Mush, was spirited away in this way. Grubba and Jolene. Grubba is a strange one. His body is incredibly toned even though he's past 60. He must have an exceptional training regimen. Then there's the matter of Miss Jolene. They say she suddenly vanishes at times. Some say a fighter saw her go into the bathroom and waited for her to come out. But she never did. Huh? You think it's strange you think it's stranger that someone staked out her bathroom? Good point. <laughs> and to be fair, it is kind of weird that someone staked out Jolene's bathroom. Keeping a close eye on this timer that I have going. Apparently there's a hot babe in here. Bonjour, Master Mustache. I wonder what flower is that madam, beautiful mademoiselle likes. She's like a ravishing but thorny red rose, huh? Always oh, she's thorny. Prince Mush, the first Blitz Pit champion, the fighter long since lost. He's shown tru truly and brightly. Many fans still hope that he may dramatically return. Of course, I'm one of them. I long to see the poetry of his pure fighting style. We're the Rough and Tumble, battling and traveling Sisters 3. Boy, those Major League matches just get us so energized. Our knuckles get white, our hearts start pounding, and we snack like no tomorrow. Enter when called by Mr. Grubba. All right, we are ranked thirteen. Mm. 
Next opponent will be the Punk Rocks, at least one special move. Match time, follow me. Ah, the punt rocks. I'll truly I'll try not to get in your way. Use a special move at least once. Hyper Bald Clef. Like Clefs and Bald Clefs, this is also a rock monster. 3, 2, defense is 2. This hyper version can build up its energy, boosting its attack to 8 on the next turn. It has low HP, but its body is rock hard and impervious to fire, making it super tough. It says here that item attacks are pretty effective, beat it before it goes hyper. I need to use a hyper, I, not a hyper, I need to use a special move. Nice! Very nice! Alright! And I'll just use Sweet Treat. ourselves a winner, the Great Gonzalez. Here's your fight money, Mr. Gonzalez. Rose up to 12. Now if you'll excuse me, I must be going. Bop, bop, bop. Rank 11, the Bomb Bomb Squad. Wrap it up in five turns or less. That's fine. Scrubs like you. Here we go, Gonzalez. I have advice. Just give up now. A bomb bomb. Attacks by blowing itself up. Yeah, real smart. Four, two, one. Bomb bomb will get totally mad if you damage it. They have like super short fuses. If it gets mad, it'll charge and explode on its next turn. That attack really hurts. And if it's mad, it'll blow up at the slightest contact, so don't attack directly. Attack it from a step away with a hammer or hit it with something hard like a shell. Throw an insult at it? <laughs> Loaded them all. <laughs> Got ourselves a winner. Come on, come on. He's quite lonely without King K around. No lonely, him too weak. Now him not here. Sound normal. You're in denial. I saw you weeping in that locker. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Right this way, this is your dressing room. 
You're starting in the minor league, of course, as you've just now started your career. If you don't like the dingy room, dingy room, I suggest you work your way up through the ranks. When you're ready to fight, you just log on to this computer terminal here. Mr. Grubble will then decide who you'll have match up against. You'll have no say in this. She's just trying to. She's just doing the same thing that she did to you. Sir Swoop, Doomba Bros, mop them up, do a triple flip. Yeah, he, he yeah, he's, d it caters them and, uh, to each person. Hi guys, yeah, my name's Swoop, Sir Swoop, I mean, nice to meet you. Sir Swoop, time for your battle, follow me. Security's here to escort you to the ring, try not to get completely destroyed out there. Rank 10, the Armored Harriers. That's right, you're darn tootin', you're finally gonna make a go at the Major League. We're expecting great things from you, so don't you go letting us down now. I want you to avoid using any special moves. I think the crowd's craving a nice lawn fight. And now today's main event. The Major League awaits the 11th ranked Grant Gonzalez, but only if he can beat the 10th ranked powerhouses, the Iron Adonis Twins. First, let's get the Merciless Executioner in here of the Great Gonzalez. Love that mustache! Oh, come on, Grubba. Who we? How are you feeling? Just perfect, thanks. You heard the fella, folks. He's obviously itching to mix it up some. Good gravy! Iron him out. Are spikes legal? <laughs> Your challenger is real confident, boys. Yep, he's talking trash. Iron Adonis twins, he said. More like paper dog face bros. And they stink. And then he said, I bet they just play video games and cry when they lose. Uh, yeah, and then he said, Audi belly buttons run in their family, stink wads. And so on. Yep. What? How does he know mom has an Audi? That jerk. <laughs> we're gonna blend you up into a smoothie, pal, and then we're gonna drink ya. And one more thing. Only smelly stinkwads call other people stinkwads. Understand, stinkwad? Simmer down there, bro. You, stinkwad. You're gonna regret opening your yap, pal. See these bods? Solid iron. See these spikes? Yeah, they penetrate any substance. So basically, what I'm telling you is that whatever you try will be completely useless. Think that over in the very short time you have left with a functional brain. Get yourselves ready to battle. Don't use special moves. We're gonna do it. We'll make the major league if we win. Get psyched. Give up now. Stinkwads, you're about to learn about our skills the hard way. That's an iron cleft. The guy is scary, period. Six, four, and defense is unknown? What's with this book? It says no attack will work against iron clefts. It says nothing in the world is as hard as an iron cleft, so its defense is impenetrable. It's, if that's true, the only way to beat one is to whack it with the other one. Running away may not be a bad idea at this point. So just to, like, show... You have no choice to run, but to run away from this. got ourselves a winner, the Armored Harriers. It's one of those battles you're supposed to you're supposed to lose. We tried to tell you, but no. If you want another piece of pummel pie, have a bath and come on back, punk. And I think I, if I read it correctly, then I... What I read online, I'm saying. You received one coin, remains at 11. Now if you'll excuse me, I must be going. Check it out. Our little eggy friend is gone. What a bummer. Where do you think the little guy took off to? Yo. And I did. Green Yoshi. Yes. Gonzalez. Check me out. Thanks to you, I hatched safe and sound. Thanks, man. What? You you were in that cute little eggy weggy? Whoa, that's wild. Yeah, but who cares? You guys want to be champs, right? You want a crystal star? I heard all about it while I was in the egg, yeah. 
Anyway, I gotta repay you for saving me from old Hoggle out there, so I'll fight for you. I can hold my own. I'll swallow any opponent whole. Honest, just leave it to me. Huh? My name? Let's see. I just came out of that edge, so I guess I don't have a name yet. You seem fired up about it, so why don't you give me one? Make it cool, okay? Of course we're just gonna name him Yoshi. Hmm, Yoshi, huh? Not too bad, dude. Not too bad at all. Yeah, I like it. Okay, Gonzalez, let's get out there and do some damage. The Yoshi is now your friend. He'll answer to Yoshi. Best partner in the game. <laughs> Yoshi's abilities. Press X to get on and off the Yoshi. While riding the Yoshi, you'll move much faster. Also, while on the Yoshi, if you press A, you'll float briefly in the air. <laughs> in battle, you can repeatedly bounce on enemies using his ground pound move, or you can use Gulp to inhale enemies whole and spit them out for massive damage. <laughs> Baby Yoshi! Yeah, this is my favorite character in the game. <laughs> I love it. Rank 10 in the Glitz Bit, the Armored Harriers. I want you to let your enemy damage you three times. Ugh. Gonzalez, match time. Follow me. For our next battle, we got the Merciless Executioner, the Great Gonzalez, the Iron Adonis Twins. You think you can take me and Gonzalez? Ha! These ultra-hard bots just can't lose. Get yourselves ready to battle. So as we saw, I don't do damage. However, Yoshi does. Let me at him, we're gonna take these pumps this time. Stinkwad's challenging us again. He never learns. Looks like he brought some new shrimpy partner, as if that's going to help him. Unfortunately, I do have to take damage three times, so... There's one. This is Yoshi's ground pound. Two. Three. Ouch! You spiked me right in the- that really hurt! Our iron bodies and pointy nastiness are being used against us, no fair. Aw, oh, Dane, bro, has he discovered our weak points? With Mario, I'm just gonna defend. Oh, and I level up. Nice. <sighs> I think this one we're going to take HP. Do we have to go back to the minor league now, bro? I think I'm going to be sick. Congratulations, Greg Gonzalez. With this win, you made the major league. Now that, folks, was what I call a wild and wooly fight. A diggity dane doozy. Keep it up, kid. You're going places, I can tell. Come on now, folks. Give it up. We got a new major leader. Let's hear it for him. And that's the minor lead. And that's also where we're going to stop for tonight. <laughs> Alright. Here's your fight money, Mr. Gonzalez. Mr. Grubba wishes to see you in his office. Follow me. Ugh, automated cutscene. Mr. Grubba, I brought Mr. Gonzalez as you requested. Mr. Lean, you mind your manners now. We knock around here, Missy. <laughs> I apologize, Mr. Grubba. 
Don't you worry your pretty little head about it, none. Now, what I'd want again? <laughs> Something about Gonzalez. Oh, yeah. Gonzalez, you all so-and-so. Let me congratulate you, son. Major League already, huh? I had a feeling you were going places, and Dane, I love it when I'm right. You just keep on putting tuckuses in them seats. I'm counting on you, son. I got a special little something-something for you. Go on, take it. 30 coins. So yeah, something else that's been on my mind. Your costume ain't cool. <laughs> no big deal, son, but hey, someday, if you can become champ, I'll get you a new one. Something hot paint, maybe, with some frills or something. You'll look like a, you'll look a sight, son. Anyway, that's something for another day, Pard. Take a powder, okay? Mr. Gonzalez, please follow me if you would. I guess use the major lead locker room now. This is the major lead locker room. You will use this room from this moment on. The match system is the same as the minor league, but the bouts are harder. Try not to get completely destroyed out there, okay, Mr. Gonzalez? Well, if you'll excuse me, I must be going now. What's the deal? Would it kill these guys to show a little friendliness? Sheesh. Frickin' Rockhawk. Studly guy coming through. Listen up, losers. I've been hearing about some rising star tearing up the league. It's you, isn't it? Yeah, you fit the bill, Skinny. A mustache named Gonzalez. Man, I came all the way over here for you? <laughs> what a waste of time. What's your deal, Gonzalez? Huh? Oh, the champ's bell. What in the... Hey, you! Get too close to the hawk and you might get rocked! <laughs> I'm not sure, but it definitely looks weird. I think you're right, Gonzalez. Fake. Hey, you think you can just smack talk the Rock Hawk? I don't think so. You got some guts calling my belt a fake, you shrimpy, no belt having wimps. Didn't your mama teach you any manners? Oh, sorry, yellow dude. I didn't mean to rip on your big bad belt. Stop making fun of me, punk. You're alive only because we ain't in the ring right now. <laughs> if I see you under those lights, I'll tear you apart. Remember the Rock. <laughs> I love him. Well, I really pushed that dude's buttons, huh? <laughs> well, forget him. We got a problem. Your map pointed to Glitzville, right? If that dude's belt has a fake crystal star on it, then where the heck is the real one at? Gonzalez, was that your mailbox SP going off? Well, who'd you get email from? So this is uh, kind of like... It's kind of weird, because this is obviously not your normal email tone, and it's also clearly not from Peach. If you want the crystal star, heed my instructions from X. Oh, excuse me. Who the heck is this X dude? He talks like he's the man to see about that crystal star. Why would he want to help us out, though? This whole deal seems kind of whack. I have so much money now. <laughs> yeah, he, he really did threaten a miner like that. <clears throat> Gonna save. Yeah, and again, that's going to do it for tonight. Um, I am going to stream tomorrow. I'm going to stream a little bit earlier than usual, because um, I do have some plans uh, for the night. Um, I might go live around 4-ish, maybe 4 or 5. Um, but we're going to do uh, back to some runs of Metroid Dread. Uh, we'll come back to this uh, Paper Mario on Sunday. Um, and we'll we'll resume from here with the, with the Glitz Pit. But yeah, thanks everyone for watching tonight. Um, again, really appreciate all of the support. Um, but yeah, hope to see you guys tomorrow for some more Metroid Dread runs. Have a good night.